Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation, giving you all the updates. The new subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. For the old subscribers, you are doing a very great job. Thank you so much for guys for liking this channel and thank you so much for the supporting. Yes, the question is that uh, which one is better, applying for a job in person, dropping your CV or applying the job on online? Yes, something that I need to let you know, it will depend on the kind of the availability of the opportunities at that time. But remember, I keep on telling people, it's all about trying all the different ways that you see, you never know. Out of trying of those all different ways, then you always have an upper hand or you have what you call the chances for you to have that job. But when we look at what we call applications or online, definitely, for the in-person, you can, for in-person uh, application, for example, you can write out your CV, uh, that is really very good CV, and uh, you can drop it to any of those offices. For example, if you're in Qatar, definitely, and you're inside the country trying to look for a job, that will be one option. You move office by office, you drop your CV to those particular offices or those particular offices of those companies that you wish you want to work for. Then you never know what may always happen. But however, something that I need to let you know is that much as the advantage that if you are dropping to those CV to those company uh, offices, you physically see the company, you physically see the address of the company. But still something that you need to understand when it comes to personal drops of CV, most of these CVs uh, are not taken into consideration because it's of a higher volume and it's very many copies. So you find that sometimes it takes so hard for the employers to kind of get that bulk of the, the, the CVs to get to read through and get into uh, that way or the other. And you know, that something still also I need to let you know that we are moving with the world of what we call technology and this is crucially that's something that's happening and what happens for example in uh, in situation two what happens with the online is for example if you have your CV on mobile any job that you see that you can apply for you definitely it will be even much easier for you to apply for that job without even having to waste a lot of transport we have without you having to waste a lot of things maybe to move up and down because you definitely does do everything on your phone that is how it is going to save you in one way or the other but still the other part of it all is that something that you need also to understand that which kind of particular particular role that you are applying for. For example, you are designed a CV that is normally going to sell you out with what we call customer sales and you get an opportunity which is what you call a housekeeping. So meaning that that CV is not going paratably going to be comparable to what we call the housekeeping. So meaning that at the same time you will need to design another copy of the CV that is going to be uh, specifically for that particular role or uh, it can be a resume or uh, CV that is going to talk about in the line of duties that are pertaining to what you call the housekeeping. That is will be the other uh, part of it all in all. But remember still as you are applying online, look at the kind of skills that you have and what are those kind of skills listed, uh, listed in what you call the job description that can enable you surpass or can enable you be above the rest of the people who have always applied and when you look at online applications it becomes very easy and most of the recruiters when you look at most of the companies recruiting they find it so hard they find it so easy to get CVs from what you call their website or from where their emails that are being submitted or people who are seeking jobs and their uh, CVs dropped on what you call their career pages because the system itself, when you submit in your CV, they will, well, we will have a, the ATS, what we call the ATS system, uh, it will automatically sort out the CV. And that CV that will be good, that will be in line with the, what you call uh, the, 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 C, the required standard of the ATS. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, formatting, for example, uh, wording, for example, the design, it will definitely go through and it will be uh, submitted to the employer. So when the employer definitely needs someone to occupy that particular role. He will just go to his uh, database, then he will just 
pick out a few, uh, read through a few, a few that are being dropped here, then you definitely, you never know, he may be dies definitely uh, calling you and having what you call an interview with you before you can definitely get what you call a good job for you. And definitely, that is what normally we definitely have to talk about and what we have to say in one way or the other. And uh, remember, it is, uh, we have to continue being passive, with perseverance, you know, we have to persevere and uh, we, we have not get, get down. Every single time, you always have to be, uh, I, I will, I will reach wherever I have to go and you have to continue uh, the search in any way or the other that you see at the end of it all, you can get it. For someone ask that question, I question, I would tell you that make sure you write that CV that is going to sell you. Most of us who write CV like we don't care, we, we, we like we don't, remember what you write is what going to be, uh, is what is going to go to that recruiter and you'll be like, you will be the person is recruiting after seeing your CV. If it is something that is so much vague, is not written out well, then probably that person is not going to call you. You'll get disappointed, the CVs are not being called, you're not being called, you applied for several times, you're not being called. But the reason being is that your CV does not, or your CV or resume, in whatever kind of case it may be, is not uh, drafted in such a kind of standards that are going to be allowed. And remember, you are not only the person who's applying for that job, there are a lot of couple of people that are applying for those jobs and definitely you find yourself that you miss out in one way or the other. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It's Makes from the Makes Creation. See you again in the next video.